Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, here we have a method of variation of parameters. Variation of parameter is a method used to solve higher order differential equation. It can be used for second and third order differential equation. So let's start. The general solution of second order differential equation by the method of variation of parameter is y is equal to y c plus y p. This is a formula which is uh, used to find the complete solution. In this formula, y c is equal to c1 y1 plus c2 y2. C1 and C2 are two arbitrary constants. Y1, Y2, these two are the solution of second order homogeneous differential equation. Now, by uh, method of variation of parameter, this C1 and C2 are replaced by function A and B. A and B are the two function of x which are determined by uh, these two formulas to find value of a we will put negative sign here similarly we will put the second solution here and s or w dx this s represent the right hand side function of the given non homogeneous differential equation and this w is uh, raskin here we have two solutions so this w is the raskin of these two solution now to find value of b we will always use the first solution of the homogeneous differential equation so here in this formula s over w is here similarly s over w is here here we will put negative sign here we will put positive sign for a we will put second solution for b we will put the first solution of the second order homogeneous differential equation after finding value of a and b we will put these two values here and hence this will be the complete uh, this will be the particular integral this y1 which is the first solution it is here and the other uh, represent value of a similarly this y2 is the second solution which is here and the remaining is the value of b so this is yc this is uh, yp the sum yc and yp gives the complete solution here in this formula we have w so this w is the raskin of these two solution which is equal to the determined y1 y2 here we have first order derivative here we have first order derivative of the second solution value of this determined is equal to this product minus uh, this product and this value should not be equal to zero because these two solutions are linearly independent whenever the solution are linearly independent then the Raskin should not be equal to zero so up to here this is the method to solve second order differential equation in this method we have uh, this equation for the general solution this represent yc this represent yp here we have two function whose value is determined by these two formula now we come to the uh, method of variation of parameter for third order differential equation so let's start the general solution of third order differential equation by the method of variation of parameter is this one this is the formula which is used for the complete solution here this yc is complementary function this is uh, this yc is a complementary function whose value is c1 y1 plus c2 y2 plus c3 y3 here if we have non homogeneous second order uh, third order linear differential equation then we have to determine its third order homogeneous differential equation after solution of the third order differential equation we have to write their complementary function which will be y is equal to c1 y1 plus c2 y2 plus c3 y3 y1 y2 y3 are the three solution of the third order homogeneous differential equation c1 c2 c3 are the three arbitrary constant now by variation of parameter this c1 is replaced by function a this c2 is replaced by function b this c3 is replaced by function c and y1 y2 y3 these three solution will be written as uh, as they are now we have to determine value of a value of b value of c just like we have determined value of a by this formula value of b by this formula now in the second slide we will write formula 
power function a b and c so let's uh, see the next slide for this uh, particular integral we need value of a value of b value of c which can be determined by uh, these uh, formulas so to find value of a and b and c we have to use these three formulas looking to the formula here we will write plus sign here we will write minus sign here we will write a uh, plus sign this is a determinant uh, here to find value of a we will put these two solutions to find value of this a we will put this y2 here similarly we will put y3 here and we will ignore this y1 so here we will write y2 y3 here we will write at the derivative this is s this is w this is represent the right hand side function this w represent the Raskin of the three solution which are y1 y2 y3 now we have this determined this is uh, product y2 y3 dash and minus this is y3 y2 dash this s over w dx again here so this formula gives value of a which will be put here now to find value of b to find value of this b we have to uh, write we have to write to find value of b we have to put this y1 this uh, uh, we have to put this y1 here similarly we have to put this uh, y3 here to find b we have to ignore y2 and we have to write y1 y3 here and here uh, we will have its derivative and s over w dx here similarly it will be here here we must remember negative sign this product will be positive this product will be negative and when we um, take this negative sign to value of this determinant we get this one and s over w dx uh, is again here now to find value of c to find value of c we will write y1 y2 here y1 y2 here here we have derivative s over w dx this will be positive this will be negative s over w dx again here now in these three formulas we have w w is the raskin of the three solution y1 y2 y3 here we have first order derivative here we have second order derivative where well, this determinant should not be zero because the three solution are linearly independent solutions so here mm, in the first slide up to here we have oh, variation of parameters for uh, second order differential equation and from here we have uh, method of variation of parameters for third order differential equation here we have three terms for third order differential equation here we have three terms for third order differential equation similarly here we have two terms for second order differential equation here we have two terms for second order differential equation here value of a and b uh, are determined by using this formula and here for a b c we use these three formulas to find value of these three functions we have to remember positive sign here here we will have minus here we will have plus so these are the formulas and this is the uh, Raskin